important alert out there tonight. Yep. All right, let's get to the weather watch here in Connecticut. Chief Meteorologist Rachel Frank joining us now. When will the rain go away? Oh my gosh, as we sleep. So we're going to bed to the sounds of the rainforest out there. Which is good. I know, it actually was really relaxing last night. I don't know if you guys enjoyed it. Um, but we'll be waking up to sun. And that sun is back. I know. I think everybody in Connecticut at this point is like, all right, l let's go. We need, we need to get this show on the road here. It's, it's been cloudy and cool and damp enough here. Here's a look at the radar currently. And yes, it's still raining. And especially so in the eastern half of the state. I don't want to leave you out in western areas. It's still damp. There's still some showers out there, but that's where we're seeing the focus of some of the heaviest downpours right now. And you're seeing that from Chaplin stretching down through Lebanon and Sprague. Some heavier rain right now, right down through Groton. We told you guys you'd be hearing it here shortly. And East Haddam and Chester and Lyme also getting some of that heavier rain. I would say as we head towards midnight, we're, we're starting the process, but it may take until one or two o'clock in the morning before we really get all of this rain out of here and then clouds will break for sunshine. It should be a beautiful sunrise tomorrow morning. And if you're up a couple hours later than that, it should be nothing but sunshine as we head through the course of the day tomorrow. I want to show you rainfall totals and I do have some ones from home weather stations that I'll show you in a little bit, but these are the official ones and a big wide range. I mean, you've got half an inch in Hartford, but you scurry up north to Windsor Locks and it's over two inches of rain where there have been some very heavy downpours right along the Connecticut and Massachusetts border. The same thing for Danbury to Bridgeport, half an inch to an inch of rain. So it just depends on who you ask. And yes, there is still a drought, although we have chipped away at it dramatically. So tomorrow we get the full report for this week for the U.S. Drought Monitor. So this is the old one, the one that goes up through last week. So it doesn't take any into account the rain that we've seen this week just yet. But I expect to continue to see improvement. No drought, just abnormal dry here for northeastern Connecticut. The beige color is moderate drought here for much of southern Connecticut and central areas and western Connecticut is still in a severe drought. I just looked at the 60 day rainfall departures and we're actually running anywhere between one to four inches above average for the last two months. So we have been making leaps and bounds and strides to chipping away at that rainfall deficit that we had all summer long. It's still a Again, a little bit worse though for Western Connecticut. So hopefully you got some much needed rain there and we continue to, you know, make that progress. Lows tonight in the 50s, areas of patchy fog possible overnight. Tomorrow, sunny, warmer, high temperatures in the low to mid 70s. So not only is it dry, but it's bright a light wind and warmer temperatures for Friday. We'll see a similar day with highs in the mid 70s. Heading into Friday night, a cold front will pass through late afternoon, early evening that could bring a spot shower. It also bring an increase in clouds around that time frame. Most of the state will stay dry, but the bigger thing you need to know about the front is this. We just fall off a cliff between Friday and Saturday. We go from 70s to 50s. However, it will be sunny. I think fall lovers are going to really love the weekend. It will be chilly, but at least it will be bright and sunny. Bit breezy, though, on Saturday. Less wind for Sunday into Monday, guys.